Big blind. So three to the flop. Oh, wow. We're going to see some fireworks here. Look at this. Parkinson's got the nut flush draw. And Andrew and Tisson have both got an ace. Any aggression here could have a very, very big pot on the flop. Thank you. Okay. So a bet out by Parag. Andre and flat calls. Tisson flat calls. No one wants to identify or, or define their hand. Check. This time a check, check to get a free card. And there it is. Parkinson has hit the nut flush on the river. He's played this so well to get a free card on the turn. What do you reckon? 1,200? 1,400? 1,300? Just under half the pot. 1,000. Acting again. Just checking. But 1,500. 1,500. All right. OK, I'll give you that one. I fancy Andrew might call. If Andrew calls, I'm not so sure about this one. Andrew's going to be kicking himself not re-raising before the flop here, I think. He's thinking it was only a button raise and a call on the small blind. I could have picked up those chips and I wouldn't have this decision to make. Call. Wow, he's made the call. The reason he got the call here is because Parag bet out on the flop. Well played, Parag Parkinson. Eric Andron. Just lost 1,500. You might kick himself a little bit there, Andrew, in the way you played that one. Say hello to your friends in the comments. Yeah, what a contrast we have on this table tonight, Joe. Late night poker, stalwarts, Prague Parkinson, Michael Kiner. Current top pros, Roland DeWolf and Mark Goodwin. Alongside two of the new breed, online qualifiers, Eric Andron and Marion Tisson. Fascinating stuff. Looking at our early chip leader, Parkinson. Don't let up. Well, have you replaced cold cloth for so the raise, please? Raise to 5.25. Raises it up, 5.25. Online qualifier in second position. Oh. Flat calls here. Flat calls with Ace King. <laughs> Does Michael want to gamble his hand here? Well, he's got Queen 9 suited. Been a small raise, a flat call. He's got one player behind him, DeWolf. He's decided to fold. He's got a round to go, hasn't he, Joe? So, Well, it was close. Michael knew it was close. We knew it was close. Maybe if he was up against one other player in the pot, then he might have gambled it. But against two, maybe he fancies he's got to hit the queen or the nine. Uh, DeWolf thought about calling. He's getting four to one there with potentially two live cards. But we're just going to see two players on this flop. Ace King of Andron against eight deuce of Parkinson. Parkinson was the pre-flop raiser. He's going to do a continuation bet here. Pot's 13.50. We've seen aggression from the Swede before. If Porig does bet, it's not impossible he'll raise. He's on the button, the Swede. He's thinking, what did Parkinson raise with? A pair of big cards? Is my ace king good? Ironically, Michael Kiner would have liked this flop with his queen nine of hearts. Two over cards and a flush draw, but he folded. He would have gone favourite to win the hand, actually, Michael, on that flop. <laughs> might, might be a full-time job in a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> you always got to remember as well, Joe, the one player you don't want to take on is the player that can bust you. Andron's in good shape here. He's clear second chip leader. He does not need to get involved with Pro Parkinson, our chip leader. Maybe that's why he didn't raise before the flop. I've got to be honest, if Porig raised and I had the button with Ace King, I would have been re-raising. You too, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Wow! It took a long time to think about that. What's he going? This guy's got game, hasn't he? I sit and told him, <coughs> Now, what's he picked up here? Is it is it because Parkinson was chatting away and he, he thinks that he's trying to act as if he's got a big hand on that flop? Maybe he plays ace king like aces. Very, very strong play, though. You've got to give the guy credit. The only thing I can think here is that uh, 
he's thinking of calling and then taking the pot if a flush comes on the turn. And he's folded. That's, yeah, that's not a surprise, is it? Want to see him? Yeah, we want to see them. Yeah. Show us one. You can collect them for me. <laughs> is, that, is that like a comedy in Sweden? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been played uh, any of the plays before. I looked at them at, uh, on TV, of course, but uh, and studied them on internet, but never played them before. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. So all the pros I read about them and uh, seen them, see them on TV. So uh, they're good plays. Of course. It must be some mug. Welcome back to the fourth heat. Party poker, late night poker. Six players left in, and it's the German, Michael Kiner, who's under pressure. Very next hand, Michael Kiner will be on the big blind. Will he even look at his hand this time, or will he just move in? Well done, Joe. You've called it spot on. First position, Michael Kiner, all in. Queen six of diamonds. He won't be disappointed with the queen six of diamonds. Well, Tisson's thinking, and that's why. He's got ace eight of spades. Now, how would you play this, Joe? Do you flat call or do you re-raise to get it heads up? Well, you've, got, you've still got three players behind you. you know, or do you fold? Well, it's expensive to call. And if he calls and someone raises behind, he's got, he's got to throw chips away. Ace jack's a little bit more easy, and there's fewer players behind um, Mark Goodwin. Mm. Uh, maybe I need a triple up. OK, so here we are. Michael Kiner, he's all in. 725 with queen six of diamonds. Mark Goodwin has the best hand at the moment. Ace, jack off suit. Speeds, come Up comes queen, check, ace. <laughs> he's in a tough spot now, he needs a queen. Or running diamonds might do it. Mark Goodwin it's has flopped eight, eight two points. pair. Okay. Four is no help. So no we'll help on the turn. Just a queen, now. or we're going to lose Michael Kiner, another of the late night poker oh, stalwarts. And he's gone. Yeah, Michael Kiner <laughs> from Germany. I was considering to come to Europe. He's left us. January, no never got any luck. <laughs> Nothing worked for him tonight. He doesn't seem too concerned about it, Michael. <laughs> Smile on his face. He's been here before. <laughs> Obviously, he'll be disappointed. Late night poker is always a little bit special to the people that have been here from the beginning. I think uh, Pedreg is pretty much in form right now, so, uh, so I've, he's for me his favorite to win the heat. Yeah. The Swedish guy will look good because he sees many flops, he calls many raises, yeah, but I think he will uh, um, lose a lot of chips in one or two hands. Yeah. Roland is very focused. Um, I personally think it's uh, something between Roland and uh, Padraig, but my favorite is Padraig. So here we are, five players left. The winner of this heat goes through to the final. The runner-up plays the semi-final. It's a total prize pool of $335,000, and the winner and champion of Late Night Poker will take home $125,000. At the moment, your chip leader, Porig Parkinson. Our online qualifier from Germany, Tissen, raises it up with a pair of jacks. All right. And, and Mark Goodwin's, Mark Goodwin's re-raising, ace eight suited. Raise 1,600 more. This is where Mark is trying to use his table image. Everyone knows he's played the fewest hands. It's the first re-raise. I think it's the first re-raise that he's made before the flop. The thing is, though, two jacks does look. It's you know, it's it's a picture pair. Um, will this and flat call? Will he re-raise? I want to bet odds on a flat call here from Thyssen for the re-raise. All right, I'll, I'll bet he moves in. It's tough. If it was somebody else, maybe. But I think against Mark, if he's been watching how many hands Mark's been playing, you know, it's 1,600, there's still play. Doesn't flop an ace or a king, then move all in. Looking across at uh, Goodwin's chips there to see if he's got him out-chipped. He folded. Wow, Joe, I can't believe that. Well, he's 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 absolutely folded because of Goodwin's table image. Fifteen. Or maybe he needs to go to the toilet. I don't know. One or the other. Players to.